an RGB 10 watt colour changing floodlight. Just arrived from eBay today, so uh, let's uh, have a wee look at it. Uh, we'll check the power, shall we? With the power meter. So the power it's showing is 4 watts. Now let's see red, it's showing 4.4 watts. Green, it's showing 4.1 watts. Blue, it's showing 4.3 watts. White, which should be all three at full power, it's showing 3.6 watts. Um, various combinations. Yeah, all hovering around 4 watts, so this isn't really a 10 watt light. Hmm. Okay. It's got the usual uh, horrible short repetition colour patterns. It goes through the primary colours. Um, either slow or fast. Oh, that's really exciting. Not really. Um, oh. It's got some soft transition type things, but basically they're mainly concentrating on going through the rainbow at variable speeds. Not terribly exciting. It does have a intensity adjustment control which goes from 4.4 down to about 1.3, so that bit works. And then when you turn it off, the power drops to 0.3 watts. Okay, well that's interesting enough. Now, the ones I've seen taken apart already online had a little circuit board in here and it appeared to be a 12 volt supply at the back that was putting 12 volts through and then it was a little uh, circuit board. So uh, let's uh, take a look and see. If it is, then it might be worth hacking it with one of my own chips. One of my own RGB software chips. I should think these things are probably fairly standard now. The one I saw taken apart online had two, what looked like two uh, PIC-12 style microcontrollers, one dealing obviously with infrared reception and one dealing with actual patterns. So pretty typical construction of a 10 watt style light. Two diagonally opposing screws holding the reflector on. You can see wire bulgy underneath. Okay. Oh. Not much. Okay, they must have the circuit board out the back then. So all it's got here is the, um, the common coming up, the red, green and blue, and then the little um, infrared sensor. Okay. What's in the back? Everything's in the actual sealed module. Oh, that's a bit boring in a way. Now, given the constant wattage there, it says RGB 6 to 12 watt on it, but it only ever seemed to hover around about the 4. Output 4 to 15 volts, 300 milliamps. I don't think, I get the feeling, I wonder if the LEDs are actually being run in series on one common sort of three or four watt power supply, I'm not 100% sure. Because certainly the maximum, the intensity didn't seem huge. Um, and it, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I wonder how hackable it was. I wonder if it's a common anode. 
uh, LED. I wonder if this would be quite fun to actually maybe try uh, one of my other prototype controllers with. Where is it? Where is it? This is a prototype controller I never actually manufactured because it's very hard competing with China, but it was a variant on my RGB controllers that actually has three current regulated outputs and there's no there's no surface mount components in this it's just um, it's just a single sided board with through hole components but these are uh, just standard components so the standard MOSFETs from RGB controller but with uh, an extra transistor and a sense resistor acting to limit the current to 350 milliamps but the only thing is that with these you've got three chips in series in this which is going to give about 9 volts for the um, blue and green, and just 6 volts the red, which means that on a 12 volt supply, um, this would be the transistor that uh, limits the current to the red channel, would be dissipating approximately 6 volts at 350 milliamps, so about, hold on, let's get that accurately, 0.35 times 6 volts equals, it would be dissipating about 2 watts, which is actually a wee bit possibly too much one of these transistors um, and just in open air without a heat sink, I could clip a heat sink on it but then again, then I'd have to run it from external 12 volt supply but having said that, the effects with this are not terribly exciting this would then open it up to a shed load more effects hmm, I don't know, I might try that, not 100% sure it depends on uh, the polarity of the LED yeah, I've never seen one with uh, everything built into the one module before like this. Oh, that's hard resin. Oh, it's not soft, rubbery resin. Damn. That's annoying. I want to know what's in here. But it's really not going to be easy to get into. Well, that's um, <coughs> it's an interesting light, but it's a wee bit disappointing that everything's integrated like that. The other ones I saw really just had a 12 volt supply and then just a fat resistor, which they would have been dissipating like 2 watts. Uh, on the red channel and uh, about half that, about one watt in the blue and green. But, um, yeah, okay, it's interesting enough, but not really what I was hoping. Oh, not to worry.